all, let us try to write a simple Blinky LED program and we will also show how to create a project using STM32 Cube IDE. Let us start. So, to start a project, first open STM32 Cube IDE and then go to File, click on New STM32 Project. Okay. So, it opens up a target selector. What do you mean by target selector is basically we are using STM32 um, F103 C66, right? So, it opens up STM32 F103. Okay. And uh, we have uh, C66. Okay. C66. Right. Let us take this C66. Okay. And you can see here once we selected. Uh, the corresponding items are uh, selected here and these are the two options which fit okay now once you select a particular item here okay you can see this uh, uh, shows up uh, um, <coughs> description of it and you can go to block diagram documents and resources data sheets all these by clicking here okay so you can you can go to in, uh, any of the files. So let us go back. So in the features bottom, you will have next. Click on next, and it asks for a project name. So we are actually uh, it as Blinky LED one. Okay. So we are using the default location. If you want to change the location, you can uncheck this and browse it as per your requirement. And uh, click on next so you can uh, keep the file sizes and then finish now this creates a project so it takes a uh, uh, few seconds uh, to finish the configuration so once the um, configuration is done it opens up this uh, um, pinout and configuration window you can see here this is called blinky-led1.ioc so this is the uh, configuration file which is there in the project also so you can open this configuration file select your pins accordingly and <coughs> use it in your uh, code now as we are talking about the blinky led if you see there are two leds in the stm32 f103 c66 uh, blue pill board uh, one is uh, for the power and the second one is connected to pc13 so that is the only one we can use so now or we can also connect an external led to one of the pins any of these gpo pins uh, and we can blink as well. So we will use the onboard LED, so which is PC13. So here, uh, as we are trying to blink an LED, we have to make this particular pin output, so GPIO output. Okay, so that is how we are going to configure this particular um, <coughs> uh, pin. So GPIO is made output and then we can go to clock configuration, keep it as is, do not touch it. So, uh, everything is uh, <coughs> uh, the same here and then go to tools. So, just checking if everything is fine or not. Now that uh, GPA output is configured, save it by pressing Ctrl S. Ctrl plus S is the save option. So, you can see here it is asking whether... Uh, we have to generate the code. See, we are only generating for Blink LED. Okay. Next, yes. So, in Blink LED, if you see here, we are just configuring the pin as output. That's it. We are not using anything. Okay. And when we say yes, this opens up a window. Okay. Anytime you can go back to the configuration by clicking on Blink LED. Okay. Or double clicking here. Right. So, now, um we 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 have opened main.c so in the main.c what we have to check first we have to see if the pin is configured properly as output or not so you have um the library inbuilt library and uh, we have a function that is generated mxgpo underscore init when you go here 
you can see here uh, it is actually configuring the GPIO as output okay uh, sorry uh, as output right that's what we have done there and uh, you can see what it is doing is port C pin 13 and if you go to this macro to go to a macro double click on this right click and uh, click on open configuration you can see here by default this is set to 0 so this is enum so this is 0 this is 1 so if you want to set you have to set it to 1 so now just go back okay and um, copy this so this is the code to set the pin right uh, uh, or uh, reset the pin now if you go back uh, you can also go back by clicking here so the GPV initialization is done now what we have to do we have to um, blink the LED right so now this is just uh, a code which has uh, enabled the LED but we have to blink the LED continuously blink the LED so to write the code to continuously blink it has to be in while one right so now in the while one copy the function the half function hl function which is there so here uh, initially this is reset now you can add some delay so for now what we do is uh, let us not write any delay function uh, declare a variable int i is equal to zero okay and we'll just write a uh, continuous for loop for now um, the amount of delay we will uh, do it later okay and 99 example okay so right now we are not sure of the clock function and what is the amount of delay this will be generating we will do that later for now our intention is to just toggle the led okay and this is how we toggle the led and what we are doing is we are just copying the pin set set and it here what we are doing in the while function first it is reset after some delay it is set again and after some delay again it is reset and after some delay set so that means on and off is what we are doing here so uh, to build the code click on this hammer symbol okay so you can see uh, it says we will just pull out it says the build finished without any errors zero errors and zero warnings so now the next thing is we have to program the uh, code to program the code open stm32 cube programmer so stm32 cube programmer can be used to <coughs> program the output file uh, to your board okay so so once the STM32 cube programmer is uh, open, um, you should see COM6 here. So basically we are trying to program the board uh, through USB to TTL converter and to A9, A10 pins of STM32 blue pill board, we have uh, the UART pins connected to the USB to UART converter board. So we have a few videos before this. Uh, to see if this uh, uh, doesn't get detected in the just the previous part. So now when you click on connect, uh, okay, so this uh, uh, is not detected because uh, the boot pin is not changed. Let us try to change the boot pin. And now we have changed the boot pin. Let us try to connect here. So once we click on connect, you can see it got connected. And if you go to the download option here, left on the left, you can browse uh, to the output file. So if you click, uh, so this is the project code. So browse the uh, .elf file, and you can select. Uh, uh, the starting address based on your requirement okay uh, 
and uh, um, you can click on verify programming run after uh, programming and uh, you can start programming once you say start it, uh, it downloads and start up operation achieved successfully okay so click on okay download verified successfully uh, file download complete and uh, you can click on okay and uh, you can see the board uh, automatically got disconnected and you can see uh, the led blinking on your board in case if you see any issues of led not blinking you can change the clock and uh, um, the timing the for loop which we have added right and you can see um, you can edit those and again compile and download uh, the code using stm32 cube programmer please post if you have any questions thank you